Hello everyone and once again I am reminding you to subscribe to our brand new channel. I told you that I'm gonna stop when we're at a thousand subscribers and we're less than 200 subscribers away from that okay. So those of you who are not yet subscribed, not yet subscribed, they're the ones who are holding you back. They're the ones who are delaying me from now cutting off these intros each and every time I speak in my videos. So quick, the quicker you all subscribe, we get to a thousand, I stop these intros, okay? So check, the link is on the description of the video below. Our brand new channel, The Gospel with Ishmael. It will be bringing you huh, some amazing content, okay? You're gonna enjoy, you're gonna love it, it's so unique. Trust me. Go there, subscribe, and I'm gonna start uploading video the moment we're at a thousand and we're very close. Very close. Very, very close. We're there, there, there. Hallelujah. So go there, subscribe, okay? And hit the notification bell so you never time I upload new videos like this. And if you like, you can now come back after subscribing and just, just comment the word subscribed or subscribed. Yeah, subscribed. And I'm gonna comment back. I guarantee you that. Okay? But if you don't wanna comment, it's okay. Just go subscribe. That's what matters the most. And now let's get on with today's video. And by the way, hello everyone, my name is Ishmael N and welcome to today's video. And with today's video, it is so surprising and so amazing. You know, I've been using, I think this scripture, I'm using it for the third time. Should I say in a row? Or maybe, yeah, no, maybe not in a row. But yeah, like for the latest videos, I've been using this scripture. And but the message will be different. Just like in, that's why I'm talking about Isaiah chapter 39, where Hezekiah, showed the people those those men who were sent to him everything that was in his kingdom and later then king isaiah came to him and was like what did you show this man and he was like i showed them everything all my silver everything in this kingdom there's nothing that i did not show them and isaiah said hear the word of the lord since you have showed them everything a time is coming where everything that is here will be taken to babylon because you have exposed everything okay so but with today's message um i don't i want don't i don't really want to emphasize him showing them those things but i want to talk to you about the era that's why god as you saw by the title of today's video god's timing god says wait that's why at times you have to wait it's just that until we make that mistake until we encounter that thing we don't understand why God in the first place wanted us to wait. That's the problem with us Christians. We want to experiment, we want to experience, and still, you know what God has, and we, God knows very well that we're still going to run back to him and cry when things backfire. So, with Hezekiah, if you recall very well, at first he was sick, he got sick, to a sickness which the Lord even gave Isaiah the prophet the wait and say, Tell Hezekiah that the sickness that he's suffering from, he will not recover. So he should just put this house in order because he is surely going to die. But then Hezekiah, just because as much as he loved life, he was like, no, Lord. He went in the wall and he prayed and was like, Lord, remember the good that I've done before you. Please add more years into me and to my life. And the Lord heard this prayer and sent the prophet Isaiah again. I want to go tell Hezekiah that I have heard this cry and I will add 15 more years unto him. So, of course, he got to live uh, an extra 15 years. But listen, what happened in that 15 years? He messed up. He, tried, he ended up exposing the things that were in the kingdom, his kingdom. And as a result, that, cost, that ended up costing everyone. People were taken to Babylon, things that were in the kingdom, like it because it was during those extra years where now he managed to expose what was in the kingdom. So let me tell you, the saying is true. When sometimes they, somebody dies and they be like, it was the right time, God wanted them. At sometimes, if it's not a premature death from the enemy, it can also be true that the Lord allows somebody to go rest at the proper time. Why? Because he also wants to avoid those unnecessary errors. Just like what happened to Hezekiah. He messed up big time. Something very major. That was not a small, minor thing. So when the Lord does not want to give you something at some time, when sometimes the Lord withheld you 
or withhold you from getting something is because he knows what's ahead. When sometimes he delays to give you something is because he knows what's ahead. He knows what's going to happen where if you can get that blessing at this period. Not that some blessings you will never ever get them, but it's also a matter on, of when are you getting that blessing. So sometimes you can get a blessing, but you find that you get the blessing at the wrong time. And once you get something at the wrong time, it backfires big time. So that's why the Lord gets involved. That's why the Lord will come in between. That's why the Lord will delay. That's why the Lord, it will seem like he's ignoring your prayer, but he has not ignored. He has taken it. It was like, but I'm going to respond to this prayer two year, after two years. You're going to get it mm, after two years. Just like you, when you have a friend or you are married, a wife or a partner whom you are married to, there are some things when they ask, or even a kid, if someone will, as a child, and be like, the kid will want a toy or something, and be like, no, I'm going to buy you after you pass your studies. I'm going to buy you a car after you're done with this and this. After this and this. Why? You'll be like, now I want you to focus on your studies. The moment you complete, I don't want this car to distract you. I don't want the Sony PlayStation 5 to distract you. At the end of the year, that's when I'm going to buy you a PlayStation 5 console. You know? So that's it. It's because he knows. Just like you, you, are a you find that you are, if you're a parent, you realize that some things, if you are to give your child, they won't work for their good, but it's going to do more harm than good. Yes, your child will be happy for a moment, but you know, before you know it, you're all going to be crying when the child fails at school. You know you'll be crying if the child, if you used to, you realize your child is still very young, you don't want them to ride the bicycle, you'll be like, we'll be crying if you now get run over by a car or something. So you are delaying things for their own good. Because sometimes you allow them to have what they are having in the future, they blame you. That's why some kids, when they are grown, they're like, only if my parent had taught me very well. I wish my mother, I wish my father had taught me this and that when I was still young. They, would, they should have tried to rebuke me. They should have tried to discipline me even harder. Look where I am now. So when the Lord does some things, it's because he is avoiding what's ahead. He is protecting you. He's protecting you from making major mistakes. When he realizes he's going to go in error, he's protecting you as far as even protecting you from going to hell. There are some people he knows that once you backslide, once you fall this time around, and it's mostly common also on Christians who got born again at a late age when now they are old, or those men of God who backslide who started very well. You find that it never takes so long. When they're starting to have errors, he takes them. Some people is because he knows you can never recover. But when he knows that, ah, is this something minor? It's a minor uh, sin in a manner of that you can, you can quickly pick yourself up. He does allow you to go on and fulfill his task. But sometimes you're surprised that such a great man of God, he passed on. But he did not know that he was starting to go in error. He, the Lord knew the challenges I hate were going to discourage him. And he took them. The reason God didn't give you that thing, he knew that at the moment you can't handle it. He knew that Hezekiah cannot handle to run his, to his reign at that time because now he's going to even do something. If he is to live longer, that is when those people, the enemy, can take advantage. But there are some people that he knows that, ah, no, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, no matter how long, you're good. So, wait. Wait, it's better to get something at the proper time, at God's timing. That's the message for you today. There is a reason why you have to delay. There is a reason why your marriage delays. He knows you get married right now. You're going to live miserable for the rest of your life. You won't even see the need to even praise God. You won't even see his goodness anymore because your marriage will be so strainful. But he's waiting for the right time. As hard as it feels like you are lonely, he knows that as much as now you are suffering, things that you are lonely is not working out well, he knows it won't compare to the pain that you will feel if you enter a wrong marriage. It will be worse, you know, 10 times worse. So it's like, you know, the pain you are feeling right now is better. You are bearing it, but the one that is ahead is worse. Sometimes he knows that, that you're going to get married to some, a psycho who's going to kill you. Just like some men, they kill their wives. You know, 
Sometimes he knows your character as a woman is not good. Maybe you're gonna try cheating and he catches you and he kills himself and he kills you as well and he killed the kid. You know that a lot of things. I'm just giving examples. So the Lord knows what he's doing. Wait. Okay? Alright. And that's all I had for in today's video. Remember to check the brand new channel, The Gospel with Ishmael. The link is on the description of the video below. Remember, you're going to love this channel. I'm going to bring something that is you're going to love. Trust me. Go there, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So you know every time I start posting new videos, I'm waiting for you. We're about to get to 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you play a big role by subscribing so we get there very soon. Even tomorrow, we can be there. So long as you subscribe, we are there. Okay, the power is in your hands. Praise the Lord. And if you enjoyed today's video, remember to like it, share it, as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new videos like this in this channel now, okay? And also remember to be a born again Christian. If you're at Bexley, then on the show of your salvation, rededicate your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. We invite him back to your heart to guide you and to lead you. And for prayer requests, testimonies, and spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email me. The details are on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.